Hey everybody, Dragon Movie Guy here with another movie review, and today we're continuing with my series, I Missed It, You Missed It, Let's Watch It. Today is Wednesday, so it's a You Missed It Wednesday, meaning we're focusing on movies that may or may not have done well at the box office, but these are films that I think you deserve a ch second chance with you guys, and that I really think you might enjoy. Today's movie is a member of the DCEU. It is a film that's in 3D. We're talking about Zachary Levi as Shazam, which came out last year in 2019. And the reason why this is a You Missed It Wednesday and why I think you guys may or may not have seen it is because it only made $140 million here in the U.S. and $365 million worldwide, which sounds like a lot of money, but in the superhero world, especially if you're talking Marvel and DC, especially if you're talking the DCEU, which is all the Justice League characters, which is Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, for a film in that oeuvre, in that galaxy of Justice League level characters, for a title character like Shazam to only make $140 million in the US and $53 million opening weekend, says that a lot of people did not go to the theaters to watch this film. Zachary Levi was in the show Chuck on NBC years ago. He was also in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as one of the Warriors 3 in the Thor movies. Mark Strong is the seemingly the bad guy du jour in low-budget sci-fi superhero movies. He was the bad guy in the Kick-Ass franchise. Um, Asher Angel plays Billy Batson, who is the human form of Shazam. And oddly, Adam Brody from The O.C. is in this movie as well, as well as Jaiman Hansu. So this is a, a good cast. It's an interesting cast. It's a very eclectic cast. Um, it is a really good movie, and I am going to watch this movie in 3D. So I just finished watching Shazam in 3D. And I forgot how good a film this actually is and it's not a perfect film it's but it is perfectly nailing the relationship and the family that the kids in this film build this is a film about billy batson who is a 14 year old orphan essentially who is in the foster care system and he has bounced from home to home to home over his life so far. And now at age 14, he has been kicked out of yet another home and is pretty much sent to his last foster home, his or one of his last chances, to go to a new group, a group home and find a new family. The casting of the kids in the group home is pretty much perfect. The relationship between the kids and the relationship between the cast members of this film of varying ages, varying races, varying backgrounds, varying character types, the relationships between these kids is really what drives this film and is really what the filmmakers nailed in this film, in, in Shazam. It's not a perfect film by any stretch. It's got pacing issues. It's got some editing issues. It really lacks a specific direction other than just generic origin story. And the CGI is okay. I think they did a pretty good job for what budget they had and kind of lacking a specific direction. But it's really the kids and the familial relationships that develop in this film that make this film worth watching and really ground it in a true sense of reality. In the same way that Spider-Man, Far From Home, and Homecoming ground the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Shazam does a pretty good job of grounding the DCEU in a certain reality that the rest of the DCEU really lacks, and a certain humanity, quite honestly, that, that most of the rest of the DCEU lacks. Of all of the DCEU films, I would say Shazam, quite honestly, is the second or third best film. Wonder Woman is the best. Shazam, I would say, is actually number two. Aquaman being a close third. 
because it actually has a grounding in reality. And the kids they cast in this film knocked it out of the ballpark. I cannot recommend watching Shazam enough just for the relationships that develop between the kids in this film. It's kids at home and at school, and it really does ground them in the lives that you have when you're anywhere from 6 to 16 years old, just kind of growing up, and in their world they have superheroes. But the superheroes aren't the center of every story, their own lives are. And that's where I think the filmmakers did a really good job in this film. If you really were interested in picking up a copy of Shazam, I'm a member of Amazon Associates, and if you wanted to help support this channel, you could absolutely do so by ordering Shazam by clicking on the link below in the description bar and getting a copy for yourself to watch at home. Also, if you like the quality of the video on this channel, please be sure to click on this link up here to check out the unboxing video for the Canon M50. It also has a side-by-side -side, uh, video comparison of the Canon M50 and my iPhone. And if you click on the link below in the description bar, you can pick up a Canon M50 for yourself if you like. Ah, and support this channel. Anyway, hope you guys have liked this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. And be sure to comment down below. Tell me if you guys liked Shazam the movie. And also tell me what, where do you rank Shazam in the DCEU? I have it as the second best movie in the DCEU by far. Um, tell me what, what is your ranking for the DCEU in terms of best to worst movies and where do you have Shazam on that list? Anyway, leave your answers in the comment section down below. I've been Dragon Movie Guy. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you next time. See ya.